Hey, this crazy thing happened. I was uh, out at getting my favorite Italian food at Napoli's and I've run into Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci, Al Pacino, all sitting at the same table. And they're huge fans of uh, the island and the one man party, all right? So I suggested to them, I said, listen, my brother is Franzman. I'm gonna call you next week. Why don't we go on the air? We'll talk to him. And they, they said, yes, all right? So let's talk to these guys now. We're gonna give a call over to the, uh, the island right now and see if we can get my brother on the phone. And then we'll call Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci, Al Pacino, and we'll go on the air now with the one man party. Good morning, the island. Fransman. My brother. It's your brother, Mike Fransman. The other. Hey, I was in a restaurant last week in Napoli's, and I ran into uh, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, Joe Pesci. They're huge fans of your show, man. I suggested to them that I could call you, and we'll go on the air with you on the one-man party. They said yes. All right, so let's get on here now, and we'll call uh, Robert De Niro, and then we'll conference call to the other guys. Yeah, it's ringing now. It's going to be good. Hello? Hey there, Bobby. Hello? Mike Fransman here. I'm on the air right now with my brother, uh, Fransman, on 107.7 The Island. And that stupid bastard, I can't fucking believe you. What do you mean? I've been telling you your whole life. Don't talk on a fucking phone, right? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't think that would matter for, uh, for a phone interview. Well, then, take the fucking wax out of your ears! You want me, you want me to call you from a payphone? Uh-oh. We got a moron here, is that it? All right, I'm going to call you from a payphone. Uh, stand by, everybody, and we'll continue. Man, this is old school. Can't believe I got to call these guys from a payphone. Where am I going to find a payphone? Oh, man, is that an Arby's? Oh, yeah, can I get uh, the roast beef uh, sandwich meal number 16? Curly fries or crinkle cut? Oh, crinkle cut. Is that new? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I'll do those. Thanks. All right. Yeah, total is seven forty. I'll see you at the window. Thank you. You're welcome. Crinkle cut fries. <laughs> oh yes, a payphone. Give him a ring here. All right. We'll try this now. See if it works. Oh, hey, Joe, it's Mike Fransman. Is this better from a payphone? I don't, I don't get the question. Remember, I was going to call you guys and we could do like a three-way conversation with my brother's radio station. You were serious about that? Yeah, of course I was. How the fuck did I get into this shit? Uh, no, hey, Joe, if you could not swear, we're on the air with my brother's radio station. What the fuck is your problem? Just don't swear, okay? You know, I don't want to bring this up, but you've been treating a lot of people with a lot of disrespect. What? How am I being disrespectful? You guys are the Get ones... this through your head, you Jew motherfucker, you. You only exist out here because of me. Because of you? That's the only reason. Without me, every fucking wise guy will take a piece of your fucking Jew ass. No, look, it's just, you know, my brother's cool, you know? My brother's a cool guy, and, and I like him. And I think, uh... You think you're queer? I'm gonna tell you something. We're all queer. So what? No. I didn't say anything about being queer. I just... Hey. You fairy. Boy, you know what? You're a jerk. You're fucking shit. You know what, Al? For a big celebrity, you're out of order. Out of order? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? No, 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 no. You insulted him a little bit. You got a little out of order yourself. Well, maybe a little bit, but it was just one of those... One of your jams. I'm going to have to straighten out what you just did with this guy. Well, no, you don't have to straighten anything out. I mean, I don't want any trouble here, Bobby. It's going to be okay. No. Well, wait a second. Tell me what you're thinking about doing first. Uh, and, and what do I need to do? Anything? I have to be able to trust you in my life. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what? I have to be able to trust you in my life. I want to just be able to trust you. You know, it's about trust. What is? I have to be able to trust you in my life. Why? Is... Can I trust you? Can I trust you? It's just a phone interview, man. I have to be able to trust you in my life. You understand? I guess I don't. Can I trust you? No, it's a phone interview. Answer what? me. Can I trust Robert, you? Robert, come on, Can man. What does trust have to do with a phone interview? You got a gift, my friend. All right. All right. I, I don't know. I don't know where you're driving at, what you're driving at, man. Yes, you do. You don't know nothing about it? Huh? I don't know what you you're don't know nothing? About. What? You got a problem. All right. 
Well, I don't know. Maybe you weren't hugged when you were a kid. I want out. I don't want to do this no more. All right. You motherfucker! Just kidding. Just trying to levitate the situation.